Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Okay, so this is going to be a different type of video. I have done a video very similar to this. You all enjoyed it, so I thought why not record another video like it. These are the people that have entered in the giveaway so far, and I just wanted to say good luck to every single person on these pages. And if you're not on those lists, then you need to let me know that you want to be entered in the giveaway. I still have not opened the giveaway yet because I still want to give people a chance to enter. I received these beaded keychain thingies and I need to assemble them and I'm having a hard time trying to figure out how to assemble them but I'm going to try to make them with you guys and see if you can help me out. This is what I got going on. You guys, I've been looking for a new table and also maybe some bookshelves or something. I have a very, very small space, very limited space. So I need to work with what I have, but I am outgrowing my space. So I'm trying to look for a different desk and also uh, a couple of bookshelves that will, might be a little bit more useful to me in my space. So I'm going to try working on that. I need to organize all of this stuff here. I need to refill my lint-free wipes. This is a current overview of what I have going on right now. All of this was sent to me um, in PR. So that whole shelf is just PR products. All of these products here are PR products. Charm Gel, Peppy Gel. Um there are daily charm products in there she modern i have jane hannah just regular nail polish yappa dr mode dream gel all of these this puppy gel kit all of these products were sent to me in pr so i want to keep all of my pr products together um but what i need to do is i need to get out to the store and buy a couple more of those bins until I can get more bookshelves because again I am outgrowing my space and I definitely need to get some more bookshelves and I just like everything to be in order and because I have so much I don't have enough kind of surface space to put everything so my thing is these clear bins with labels i love to do that that really helps me and works for me i guess until i can figure something else out i was thinking of maybe getting some polished racks and that'll help me to kind of get all of these polishes off from the shelves onto the wall or maybe i can find something standing that I can put the polishes on. I'm not sure, but I, I definitely think that I'm going to need a polish rack or two because I think I'm getting enough polishes to where I can put them on a rack. And it won't take up so much space. So that's what I am maybe planning on doing. Let's see, I don't know, I gotta figure something out. But another thing that I'm definitely looking for is another nail table my table i had got and i sanded it and painted it and brought it back to life um but i have not had a chance to buy a, you know a nail table or any sort of table uh, for my space so i definitely want to look into that all of the furniture that i've that i have i've had for so long so I think it's time for a little update, but I already think that this is already starting to look so much better and cleaner. The thing is, is that I have so many things and not enough space for it. That, that's definitely what's going on. Well, I do have enough space. I just need to find another bookshelf or two 
that is a little bit more practical for my area that's that's what it is so that I can maybe get rid of some things that I have that are older pieces maybe I can repurpose them somewhere else in my house or if not I can get rid of them but I definitely need to look into a bookshelf or two for my nail area because it is definitely needed because my nail art collection is kind of growing I decided to make this shelf my designated shelf for all of my nail art and I know it's going to continue to grow that is why I'm saying I probably need a different style bookshelf or two because I need it to just I need it to work for me a little bit better so I work with what I have but I definitely need to look into something um, that is gonna work for me a little bit better and that's all and we will work on it contemplating putting my lint free wipes in another container but then i said you know what never mind i'll just put them together i don't think it's really going to matter much um the cotton rounds that are in here i use to wipe up any spills sometimes i will use them when i am using my stamping plates to clean up the polish This Model Once collection, I have already done a review on it, so if you'd like to see that, I will link the videos down below. Also, the kit, the poly kit on the bottom, the green box, and then the box in the middle is a, um, what was it? Poly gel beetles kit. It was a beetles poly gel kit. Oh, oh, hello? <laughs> It was a Beatles poly gel kit, y'all, that was sent to me in PR, and I did do a video on it, and I'll try to link that video down below as well. <laughs> These are some new dotting tools that I got from Shein, and I'm just going to put them in alongside my other dotting tools that I have. This is the top drawer of my desk. This is how I have it organized it's always changing so i thought it'd be fun to make a video recording me putting away all of my shein products these are some products that i still had to put away from the last shein haul that i did so I hope you enjoy this video and hope you continue watching <laughs> and thank you. Thank you so much for coming by. I am on a hunt for a new nail table. So if any of you have any suggestions, I am taking them. I definitely want something affordable. I just need a surface, you know, but um, the desk I would love a desk with drawers. Drawers are a huge, huge thing for me. I love to consolidate. I love to kind of put away things. I don't want everything out, so to say. So I love a top drawer. So I'm looking for something specific. Um, but I'm just going to keep on looking and searching and hopefully I'll find something. These are Shein plates that I definitely will do a video on, so stay tuned for that. I 
ended up changing the area of where I had these little dumping dishes because in the drawers that I have right above that shelf, I do have some dappin just dishes, so that's where I put them because I didn't want them to break. Um, so I went ahead and put them in there. Look at all of this stuff that I still have to reorganize. It's it's a lot, but we'll get through it. We always do. Once I get the bookshelves that I need, everything will look a lot better. But again, I just, I work with what I have, guys. Some of these bookshelves I've had since I was very, very young, believe it or not. And they're still in very good condition. So that's why I haven't gotten rid of anything. I am not a fan of just getting rid of something just because, like, it has to be damaged. Um, but so, you know, it's working for me for now. And like I said, I'm going to look into finding something a little bit more practical for me in my area. So that's it. That's what we're going to do. This is where I put most of my nail art. You're going to see nail art on... Kind of all over the place really <laughs> i'm trying to kind of house all of my nail art in one area nail art designs i should say throughout the years i don't like to get rid of them i like to hold on to things just in case i wanted to recreate something in the future These are nail art pieces that I've made with gel and molds. And then this organizer here is just going to be a random organizer until I figure out what to do with the rest of the things in here. Really, I want to get another acrylic organizer and I think I'm going to be working on that as well. So that I don't have random, you know, nail art all over the place. I want all of my nail art to be in one area. So I'm working on it. This nail art box here will be a random nail art box until I figure out what to do with it. Most likely going to be reorganizing again probably a few more times so you guys will always see me moving stuff around. I have moved things around. Most of my desk is cleared off. I do think that I want to get another table cover for now until I get another table. Truly thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Join my YouTube family. Make sure that you turn on the notification bell because you will not be notified of any of my videos. So that'll be a little reminder to you that, hey, I uploaded so you don't miss it. Once again, thank you guys so much for stopping by. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.